Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beautiful city of Prague. Behind me, you see the Charles Bridge. Been around for about seven or eight hundred years. Incredible sight. So we're here on holiday this week. It's half term in the UK and we're gonna be tasting as many non-alcoholic beers as we possibly can and reviewing them on this video. So stay tuned and see how many beers and different reviews we can do. Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, so it's half term week and we are over in the beautiful city of Prague and we are trying, if we can, to taste as many non-alcoholic beers out here in around the local bars, restaurants and pubs. Uh, so far we've tried one, um, it was a German import and I'm really, really pleased that we've managed to find an actual Czech beer, which is Burl, and it's one of the, um, the, the, the largest drank uh, non-alcoholic beers in Czech Republic. So what we're going to do is, <laughs> even though we're standing in the beautiful street, now you can see behind me is Prague Castle. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and taste this and see what it tries like. Right, going to try and open this up one-handed since we're walking in the street. There we go. Nice can of brill. What a beautiful place to try a non-alcoholic beer. But cheers. Very nice. Reminds me kind of like the Heineken that I've um, tried back back home. Um, yeah, really nice drop. Nice um, flavour to it not too um, gassy. Cracking a little beer, that one. It's the Burl, look out for that one. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be in the UK, but certainly if you're over here in Prague, you'll probably be able to find it in a number of restaurants and bars and even in the supermarkets. Catch up with you later. Hey guys, so a second stop um, for, for today and we've come to this amazing restaurant right by the the castle called Kuchin, which is kitchen um, in Czech and uh, you'll see I've managed to get oh it's Emily <laughs> and I managed to get my first pulled pint since coming here and this is obviously it's, it's, it's a burl it's in a pilsner glass but it's a burl uh, non-alcoholic beer um, so cheers Yes, that's to make it taste good. It's um, orange peel. Amazing. Mm, really, really nice. Yeah. Much, much better mm. from the. Uh, also good. From from the tap then, uh, yeah. rather than from from the can that I had earlier on today. Do you want to try some, man? Mm. No. And Roseanne is sampling. Did you do what? A pilsner. There we go. So we're gonna go on get attacked by wasps. We're gonna move on to have some lunch and continue to look around the city. Catch up with you later. Hey guys, so it's the next day at uh, our holiday in Prague. And I started to notice a bit of a theme. We've come to the zoo today, bit of a mad one. There's the, one of the um, one of the restaurants um, that we've stopped at. Uh, I think it's the Elephant Restaurant, which is great. Um, and they do sell non-alcoholic beer. So again, this is a Birol, which you know we tried now third time. This uh, I think it's the only non-alcoholic beer they actually sell in um, in Prague. But this was for. What's that? 40 mil, uh, just probably about a pint. Works out just about a pound, so absolute bargain for a whole lunch today. Um, really reasonable price. Two kids' meals and two adults' meals and four drinks come in around about 21 quid. So really reasonable prices and the beer, I'm sure, will be outstanding as well. So cheers. Oh, another one, fantastic. Hey guys, how are you going? 
Um, just back from a long day at the zoo and on the way home we've managed to stop at one of the local supermarkets and uh, yeah going on from what we were saying earlier on it looks like Burrell, um, the brand Burrell is one of the biggest producers of non-alcoholic beer out here in Prague. Now uh, stopped and we've managed to pick up one called the Polot Mavi which I'm not even going to lie, I had to ask the lady behind the till at the supermarket what that actually meant because obviously I think it's in Czech and I think translated it's a, as an amber or a dark um, white beer or wheat beer so um, we're going to open this one up, get it into the glass and give it a little sample and see what it's like Let's get this open See what it's like, it pours in First look at this. Let's do it like how the checks do it, the massive head. Right guys, so it's, it's in the glass. As you can see, it is a nice amber colour, which is great. Um, looking forward to trying this one actually. There, now there's not a lot that I can tell you about this. I've just been doing some research on the internet about this beer and I believe it's uh, it's a take on some of the German vice beers. Um, it is brewed here in Prague and um, you, you know the equivalent alcoholic Pollock Mavies are typically around about sort of 5%. So let's give this one a, um, a quick drink and uh, see what it tastes like. Cheers. It's a nice little drop that actually. It's it's quite sweet to start off. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste or anything like that at all. Again, you would not know that this is a non-alcoholic beer. Um, it's got a quite a dry finish which is quite nice and it's not overly um, gassy either so again it's, it's quite a nice it's a nice beer I'd also like to note as a side note the reason why I'm whispering um, is it's currently half past ten we are back in our hotel room in Prague it's the Hilton that we're staying in in Prague and um, my youngest child is lying in the bed next to me sleeping so um, I've been very lucky to put a light on in this review um, and I can't normally do you know being a little bit quieter um, as to not, not to wake the children but hopefully next one I'll be able to speak a little bit louder for you guys not whispering sunken in a corner drinking a beer <laughs> Hey everyone, that's part one finished of the review of non-alcoholic beers in Prague. If you like this video, um, press the like button um, and obviously subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos. Um, there will be a second part to this review next week, so stay tuned for that one.